What's up guys? We've got a video today on how to tile a fireplace surround with porcelain tile, mitered joints. Uh, this is a great design idea. We'll show you how to prep the existing fireplace surround, how to prime it, how to build anything out. As you can see right here, we've got about three quarters inch to build out. So, simple video on how to prep it, how to cut the tile, how to install mitered porcelain, for a fireplace surround. So we've already completed one. We'll show you what that looks like. It's upstairs, here we go. So here is the master bedroom fireplace surround we've already installed. 12 by 24 porcelain Carrera lookalike. As you can see, we've got all the veins and movement moving together. It's all matched up correctly. What you don't want to do, they had somebody else install this floor, as you can see here. It's the same tile. You've got veins and movement. Everything's all out of whack. Nothing is matching up. They didn't take any time to pick and place each tile correctly. As you can see, the vein and movement is going up. This is going left. There's nothing matching up right here. There's nothing flowing. This is just a, a sloppy install. When you install something like a Carrera, stone porcelain tile such as this try to make everything match up this does not match up at all so what you want to do is specifically place each tile so that the veins like so flow and match as you can see you've got mitered joints all the way down here hearth is mitered as well this seems like a small fireplace surround okay there were over 40 mitered cuts for the small fireplace around. For, for homeowners out there, if you're obtaining quotes on a mitered porcelain fireplace around, expect to pay a little more as well as installers. Bump up your bid. It, definitely time consuming. You need a nice good blade. And when you're doing over 40 mitered cuts, it takes a lot longer than using any kind of trim edging or if you're installing stone, polishing the edges. You get an amazing outcome just like this. Clean, tight miters. Veins that flow and match up properly. And it looks great. So, let's get to installing the downstairs fireplace. Again, we'll show you how to, how to miter cut it, how to install it, how to butt it up nice, tight, and clean. For a nice, modern looking fireplace surround porcelain so tile. So when tiling here we go, guys. over an existing fireplace surround, this is brick here, it's not necessary to demo and remove the existing brick surround, especially if you're doing mitered porcelain. It allows you to miter cut and cover all outside corners. You simply prime the existing tile or brick, as you can see, this has been painted, so you have a sheen on here. You have a glossy sheen. It looks like it could be like a satin or a, a semi-gloss, but simply prime it like we're doing now with a tile primer, and then you can tile directly on top of this existing brick. And as you can see here, we have about three quarters of an inch to make up, so we're gonna install some foam backer board, some go board here, then set the go board to the brick, and then we're gonna install the 12 by 24 inch porcelain tile. We're going to miter every single corner here, outside corners, the hearth on the outside corners, all the way over here. This is our helper for the day. Her name's Daisy, about 15 years old. Mrs. Daisy the helper, she loves water. Right, so we got go board here. We're gonna use this go board to fur out the gap on the fireplace.
All right, guys, time to miter some porcelain. And there you go, mitered piece number one. As you can see, there's a, about a 30 second of an inch on the glaze here. And if you need to clean up the miter joint, shave down a little bit to get closer to the glaze, you can use a polishing pad like this attached to a grinder. Easiest and quickest way to do so. And always back by your tile, regardless. Now the customer picked a grout that matched as close to the tile as possible. She wanted all grout lines to disappear. It already looks like a great grout color. So yeah, everything is complete other than grout, seal, and polish out. Very clean, tight miters, guys. It looks great. It looks modern, clean, and seamless. Another great idea for a fireplace surround mitered porcelain. Well, there you guys go, the final product. A mitered porcelain fireplace surround. 12 inch by 24 inch tile is what we installed. It gives it a very sleek, modern, seamless look. As you can see, every outside corner was mitered. There were about 50 mitered cuts for this fireplace surround. Got the hearth here, capped and mitered. There it is up close. Got the perimeter of the cavity of this fireplace mitered, as you can see, sides, top, and again, mitered over here on this corner. The last step, is to install some fire glass within the cavity there to cover that burner up. But as you can see, this now is a very good looking, modern, sleek fireplace surround. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below.